This is a quick video about the uses, or a couple of uses of the quadratic hive. Um, different ways of populating them and uh, different things you can do with them. So this uh, pair of quadratic towers here, um, as you can see one's six boxes, one's seven boxes, um, both got loads of bees in. These colonies have been in these hives for two seasons and they seem very happy. They seem to be quite uh, comfortable in there, doing their own thing. They're putting their honey up the top and brood further down as usual. And um, if I decide that I want to use these for queen mating nukes, all I have to do is separate the boxes, uh, find the one with the queen in and keep that separate, of course, and give her some new boxes to, to draw comb down on and uh, to lay in. And then I can use the boxes with, that are populated with bees uh, give them a, a virgin or a, or, or a cell and I've got instant mating nukes and at the end of the season I can join them back together with a good queen and overwinter them very happily on four, five or six boxes. I've done all of those and uh, they'll be just fine for next year. And this is another way of doing the same thing more or less except this is when you have uh, boxes arranged in a group of four. I can just pop the top off this one. This is simply four quadratic boxes arranged on top of a standard um, national hive. And you can do exactly the same thing as this with a, a Dadent hive as well. There's enough room on a Dadent to do this. And if I just peel the acetate off the top, you can see that the bees are uh, just, well, I've only just put this bo these boxes on, so the bees aren't really doing much in there yet, but they're, they're thinking about it. They're moving up into the boxes, starting to populate them, starting to... Uh, consider the possibility of building comb in there, which they will do very soon. Um, just trying not to squash bees by putting this acetate back. There we go. Uh, right, so there we go. So there's two ways of doing it. This this way, um, in this particular configuration, of course, they're quite likely to use these four boxes as honey supers, which is fine because when I use these as mating nukes, I'm going to want some honey in each of those boxes um, because all bees need food all the time so um, this using them like this will give me boxes that I can then use uh, as food supplies for other um, other sets of mating nukes so that's absolutely fine by me you can also put them underneath a brood box and then they are more likely to draw them and, and the queen will then lay in them and um, you'll have a, a bunch of boxes full of emerging brood which is also useful as well. <laughs> Got another set of boxes exactly the same way and I've put them above or actually in between two supers. So there's a brood box super, quad boxes and then another super and did I put a queen excluder in there? No I didn't so that's fine. Um, I don't often use queen excluders, in this case I didn't use them at all, but um, so they're going to do, in those boxes, they're going to do whatever they choose to do with them. They're probably going to be a mixture of brood and honey, which is absolutely fine, and uh, they will be used for mating nukes up at my mating apiary uh, quite soon, probably next week. So they're, they're well populated, and what I've done here is, as you can see, I've left um, a couple of extra entrances open for them, at the front which they can use and uh, it gives them another way of, um, uh, of uh, for, for traffic coming back into the hive as it were laden with um, supplies to use but in fact that's not actually what it looks like happening it looks like they're doing something entirely different they're just kind of uh, sitting in the entrance sunning themselves I don't know but all the traffic's down here at the entrance and um, that's absolutely fine bees can do whatever they choose to do. There we go then, so that's uh, another little episode in the Quadratic Hive story. Um, I shall also do some video when I get the mating site established and uh, you'll be able to see them in action as mating nukes as well then.